The facility itself is amazing. Um, when I was lucky enough to come here when it was absolutely brand new, and even the staff here was still getting used to it. Um, and so people were very excited about the work they do here and, and what benefit it is to women and to make, they, were, they went out of their way to make the people who come and go through the doors very comfortable. And I was very, very happy with that um, because it's, it's a scary process. Um, and I, I think I'm a pretty self-aware person and I'm, you know, I live in a big city, but when you're getting radiation, you want the best and you want some compassion and you want some explanations. The physicists that are here were even very compassionate. We traded jokes and, and talked about uh, where we're from. and. Uh, so, uh, you know, even, I don't know, you don't usually think of a physicist as being very funny or very personable, but the two that I interacted with here were fantastic. And I um, went online and uh, looked at other papers that they have published and uh, symposiums that they've been to and presented at, and it made me feel like I have the best, not only the best um, doctors, the radiation oncologists, but even the physicists, even the nurses. When my husband and I came to, to do our first appointment, um, Dr. Kusky came through the door and he looked first at me and introduced himself to me, shook my hand. Um, then he looked at my husband and said, you know, hello, and introduced himself to my husband. Um, and he, his first statement was something like, um, you got a little bump in the road here, but we can fix this and it'll be it'll be a breeze. Um, and just those words gave us hope that this isn't going to be an awful drag on kind of therapy. Uh, with brachytherapy and the re from what the research I looked at said, um, I feel so grateful that I could have this kind of therapy that only exposes the tissue you want exposed. You're not exposing your heart, as much, you're not exposing your lungs, you're not exposing your ribs. Um, and, and the long-term effects of that, from what I've heard, what I've read, can be just one more complication. And that's not going to be an issue with brachytherapy. It's just so to the point, <laughs> to the area that needs to be taken care of. And that's, you know, no residual. The five days was so doable. Um, and I felt so lucky that I could be part of that. Um, not having ever had whole breast radiation, I don't know what that's like, but I've talked to people and, oh, I was burned, I was sunburned, I had to use creams, I had to go every day, it got to be a drag, I was fatigued, and it really interrupted my life. And I think the thing I appreciate most about the, multi, the multi-catheter, the brachytherapy, is that it's over in five days and your life gets, I won't say back to normal, but your routine can get back to normal, and you're not going somewhere every day for six weeks. I also felt like I had done exactly the right thing, the thing that I needed to do and to, to make sure this cancer isn't coming back. Um, I, I didn't want to go away from this saying, well, maybe I should have, maybe I... I did this, and I think it took care of it, and I am glad it's over, but I, literally, I left here saying, if I can help any other women discover this, um, if they don't know about it, if you, I will be your spokesperson.